The transformation t is from p2 to r2, given by t of p equals the vector p of 1, p of 3. We're asked to find a non-trivial element of the kernel. The kernel of the transformation is a set of all input polynomials from p2, such that the output is a zero vector in r2. Because we want the output to be zero in order to find the kernel, let's first analyze the output under this transformation. The output vector in R2 under this transformation is always in the form of P of 1, P of 3. But again, for the kernel, we know the output must be the zero vector. So if the output is a zero vector, notice how this indicates that P of 1 must equal zero, and P of 3 must also equal zero. And now let's consider the inputs are all the degree two polynomials in P2. We can see the variable is t because we're given p of t here on the left. So any degree two polynomial where the variable is t can be written in the form of a t squared plus b t plus c. But we also know that p of one must equal zero and p of three must equal zero. And therefore, it'd be helpful to have the factored form of the degree two polynomial. The factored form can be written as a times the quantity t minus r one times the quantity t minus r2, where r1 and r2 are the roots or zeros, which will be the values that make the degree two polynomial equal to zero. And again, from here, we know p of one must equal zero, and p of three must equal zero, and therefore r1 must equal one, and r2 must equal three, or we could also reverse these values. So the set of polynomials in p2, such that the output will be the zero vector in r2, must be in the form of a times the quantity t minus one times the quantity t minus three. So all the scalar multiples of these two products would be the kernel of the transformation. And here we're only asked to find one non-trivial element of the kernel. So we can let a be any real number except zero. If a is zero, we have the trivial solution. So if we let a equal one, for example, we can let the non-trivial element be p of t equals the quantity t minus one times the quantity t minus three. But again, any scalar multiple, as long as a is not zero, would work for p of t. I hope you found this helpful.